Previously on the RTG. But let's see what we can pack to help it. Good luck, fingers crossed. Party back, team two. Future stars! No, it's not. Serbian set. Oh, that's a big rating. The wardrobe, savage. If it's not Pedri or Future Stars. Another with a wild card? Well, that wasn't worth it. I spent how much? Hello and welcome back to the Old Spot RTG. And in this episode today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a journey of an incredible pack grind with multiple insane pulls, but also a mistake has been made. Um, I'll explain that when we get to it. But we've got a lot of action with gameplay, new team changes. It's a good one. I know you're gonna enjoy it. So thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss when the videos do go on the channel and enjoy. The Elite Division Rival Rewards. Here we go, boys. I'm taking, I'll tell you what I'm taking. Option two is the smart move right now. If I can get someone useful for my team, well, I need a right mid that can play Cam right now, EA. Can you sort that out for us? Yeah? All right, let's go. Right mid for Cam. Oh my God. Lovely looking card that is. He needs his dynamic image though. Come on, chop chop, EA. Massive fodder and I promise you, I'll do an icon SPC. Not that it needs really much persuasion. I would do it anyway. Oh, that's not enough, EA. Oh, I pulled my chair arm off. Who's that? Oh, Mendy? Edouard Mendy? Yeah, good keeper, him. 83 raters. I can't put my chair arm back. Oh, there we go. That's better. Next 50k pack for us. Ooh, wonderful 83s. Oh, sorry, I tell a lie. That's an 84. 40,000 I've missed out on. And what we've added back to the club, an armor on. Future stars. Remember what I said? Oh, it might be a future stars hiding back. Oh, I thought it was him again. Oh, it's Kieran Trippier. Ward Prowse will do though. But there might be a future star, serious. Oh, Lukaku though. But this next one coming up, still searching for a future stars. Is it going to happen for us? We need some upgrades for this starting 11. Wow, it's massive fodder though. Brazilian left wing. <laughs> I've already got him. Okay, well, what does that mean? I should have done the flashback. Oh, that's a good pack, that is. 87 variety Jorginho. They just look beautiful side by side. Got 84 as well. Aspie once again, but Neymar is a really good pull. Neymar's been discarded. And I'm not kidding. I made a mistake. It was a race against time just before 6 p.m. A few SBCs that contained tokens were about to expire. And what I wanted to do is collect those, put them into the 81 to 89, or the ultimate pack to gain fodder for the middle prime. But I went on the web app to buy these cards for the SBC, and it said you had to assign some cards or players, and I just discarded them all. So Neymar's gone. And I can't claim him back because I don't have any more quick sale recoveries. But I even had to play Silver Stars. Check that goal out, by the way. Very nice from a silver. So pretty much there's another token pack coming up that I spent coins on from the store. But an 85 plus times three? What are we going to get? Pedri, Future Stars, anything. Or some really good fodder. I just want fodder at this moment in time so we can go do that icon. Fodder. Oh. That's looking like an 85. No, it's left wing. It's a 86 is the best. Oh my God. Was that even worth what I submitted? No. 86, then two 85s. Yeah, I called it. I knew it. 84, 85, and we make our coins back. Anything that we pack though is going to get submitted into the icon anyway. So good luck. Fingers crossed. This is a gamble. 25,000, probably down the drain. Go on EA Sports. A future star right now. Oh. 84. Oh. 85! Yes! 85 Gundogan! That has saved us! Whoa! That is solid! Pedri. Oh, man. They suck. The decision has been made. We're going for the ultimate pack, but maybe it was like better to go for the other one. Who knows? But my idea is that we might get a really nice future star. And if it comes with a guarantee as well, Can we complete the icon base over this pack alone? Let's hope so. Come on, big fodder. Yes, massive fodder. Argentina, right wing Messi. Oh, there it's Messi. Yes, Lionel Messi. What the hell? We packed Neymar today that was discarded and Lionel Messi. That's pretty cool. In fact, I might just use him at Cam this weekend. 
We were looking for a right winger to play Cam. Well, there it is. That saved us like 500,000 coins. Some 84s. Some, eight, eight, some 84s. So far in this episode alone, we're going to pack Neymar and now Messi, which was pretty nice. Well, who's next? Harry Kane. No, seriously, who is next? Because a middle prime SBC is coming up right now. But that was lucky though, because Neymar, we discarded and then we got Messi. So now we have a really nice cam so we can get rid of Garincha, who is dropping in price rapidly because he's been leaked in the icon swaps lineup, which is a little bit annoying. I was going to use him for this weekend, but we have taken a huge loss on that card. But enjoy this. Oof. Middle prime icon upgrade. It was cheaper than the pick. I just thought it'd be the best one to do. It's time. It's prime time. Ronaldinho, Brazilian. Come on. Brazilian. Oosh. Dutch. Goalkeeper. That's fine. Yes, I'll take that. Van der Sar. I will literally take that. Prime Van der Sar in the net. No, I will take that. Seriously. That's not an L. That's not an L. I will take that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know now who's better, like defensively, Dest or Darmian. I'm not sure. Dest is fantastic. He really is. He feels strong, good on the ball, super fast as well to support. He, do, he just is like a really good card, Dest. I've always liked Darmian, but I think Dest going forward is really... Sort of a carbon copy of Philip Lahm. You know, both comfortable in possession. You know, bring composure to the side. That's what we're going to use. It's time to test Van der Sar. Edwin. In fact, we came up against Edwin uh, the other night. And I banged uh, some easy goals against him. That's kind of concerning. And he's got loads of icons. Oh, he's moving. Lahm. Oh, damn. He's got CDM Lahm. Yeah, true. CDM Lahm with his dribbling in that position is going to be nasty. Good goal. He's already turned me. Got to keep it tight to him if he's going to roll us that easily. No. Good dribbling. Damn, good dribbler. Go on. Go on, Des. Nice play. Awesome. Near post. Bang. Back in the game. Well done, the NL. Best. And Golo Conte. Oh, play switching. Nah, just let him walk through. I was getting ready for the shot. Good. That's nice. Oh, thought I'd try. Wow. That pass from Auer. I did say Eto is off the pace in this game. Get in there, Samuel. Down to 409,000. Why is that, you may ask? I'll tell you. Well, no, I just got on board a new center back. This man right here. That looks good. This could be the perfect pairing. You've got the bullish, faster center back. Well, in fact, that's not true. He's faster. Technically, he's quicker than Rudiger, but in game, this guy's an absolute machine. So to put someone who's a little more technical with these reactions, 170, by the way, that seems a little too cheap for these stats. He's basically like a jacked up Cannavaro. We've been lo loving Cannavaro. The downfall is his speed. Over the top through balls, he's getting done. There he is. Kunde. There he is. It's his debut. Fantastically built. Oh, quicker. A little bit quicker right now would, would, would help. With some of these passes out my feet. Oh, this is awesome football. <sighs> Messi of all people. Pass that so far out. Good dribble there. Nice to control. Cancelo, lay it off through. This is good play. Eto. I like those shots with him. Wonderful football around. Started with Auer. He, he dropped the shoulder twice past the man. What well on. Rudiger, well played. Come on, boys. Right, I'm hoofing this. Get that ball over the top. 
Oh. It's alright, a bit of route one. What the hell? That's dumb. And Eto again. Same shot, same goal. Or two goals. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode today. I do have a couple of extra things to speak about. But in terms of pack pools, Neymar, Messi, and then Van der Sar, he's going to be our number one keeper. Unless we need specific chemistry to a PSG centre-back because we're using Donnarumma or Mendy to Rudiger, I feel like this guy is going to be the number one all the way until the end of the game. And some do say he is literally the best goalkeeper to use. And from what I saw last night, he did make some really good reflex saves. But Garincha... We've lost coins. 950 purchase price. It was an unfortunate buy at the timing of it as well. Like just so annoying that literally the next day he was leaked in the icon swaps lineup. So for 17 tokens, you can get his prime. So that's going to cause major panic. And then on top of that, once he does get officially announced in game, well, it's going to cause even more. So I thought get out of that and then put our coins towards something else. But we basically made that back through the Ward Prowse investment, Sarabias that I picked up for 12,000 to 13,000. And I've done something extra with the coins you're going to be seeing in the next episode. I've gone crazy. Okay. We had the money from or just 400,000 just sitting there chilling plus selling Garincha. So what have I done with that? You'll see in tomorrow's episode but we still have um these rares i'm just waiting for ea to bring out an sbc if you could then that's literally like 400,000 coins also in the transfer targets but the good thing is that messi is not really any different to the way garincha was performing and so i'm going to give him the go ahead for this weekend and when you look at his stats two goals in seven isn't really anything to shout about but the opponent quality that i've been coming up against in the elite division they've been fantastic and I found my feet again. Last week, I was a little off form because the patch caught me off guard. Now it's given me really a week to practice. I do feel a lot better on the game. And the upgrades that we have made now, well, Dest is 100% in for Damian. Kunde, I didn't really see enough of. Like, he was fine, his pace and some of his tackles. But I want to really pay attention to him. So I, I think this could be a really, really good uh, centre-back pairing. And then Van der Sar in goal. Like, he's just massive. Seven games with him. Like I say, he was performing some good saves. And then we have Cancelo in the midfield. And for those of you asking for my custom tactics, I'm using this right now. Um, I had had been playing like 35 width and 70 depth, which seemed to be like the standard like meta way to play the game. But I really believe 40, 60 is what suits me personally. And I feel a lot better um, defending. And then with the width as well, just bringing players um, closer to me. Uh, like I'm, I've been, to be fair, I've been juggling between like 50 and 40 i'm not really sure 40 did feel pretty nice but depending on the opponent i have to switch out to a 442 anyway so i've been using some like just generic tactics again for the 442 so that's a good thing about this formation i can switch in between pretty easy but boys see you tomorrow we're gonna have um, most likely a foot champs grindy session where i'm gonna speed run it and then we'll have the packs and stuff see what we pull but thank you very much for watching the road to the final tonight I'll see you soon. Team out. Peace.